Was it hard finding actors for your film? Uh, not really. Uh, we posted uh, ads on Craigslist and uh, MySpace, and uh, that pretty much took care of it. Okay, I hate to do this, but we're gonna go on ahead and shoot this scene without Gwyneth. Now, the script calls for her character dying today, so she's gotta die. She's gotta freaking die, okay? Now let's go ahead and shoot this scene before she gets back, all right? Cha cha, let's go. Hey, open up the door over there. The little girl's gonna die. If I open up this door, all hell's gonna break loose. Do you wanna die fast or do you wanna die slow? Go ahead and shoot me. <laughs> Poor little girl. Giggity. Do you know where my girls are, where my where strippers are? Yeah, I don't know anything about any strippers. Uh, shh. What are we gonna do, huh? Pretty it. Kevin, you've got ballet experience. You know how to work a pole, right? He does. Uh, you're gonna be my volunteer today. You're gonna play the, uh, the stripper. I don't think that'd be a good idea. I think it's a great idea. Come on, let's go. Let's get him suited up. Let's go. Go, boy. <laughs> Taking into account that you consider your film an indie film, I wondered if you had to find unique ways of cutting costs around the set. Absolutely. The simulated weapons debacle notwithstanding, there was also another scene that called for uh, simulated drugs. Hey, I got something to show you. This is cool. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey look at it. Don't get too excited at home, folks. It's just parsley and regular baking flour. Looks pretty convincing, yeah. We're going to be shooting this scene in uh, about 10 minutes. Let's go set them up. Okay, so let's shoot this scene. Derek. Kevin. Derek. Kevin. Where those guys at? So, Lou, where did you come up with the idea for the story behind Zombie Hunger? Actually, I came up with the, uh, the storyline after I read a poem by Billy Collins. And, uh, actually, I think I have it here. I could read it for you. <clears throat> the fox you lug over your shoulder in a dark sack has cut a hole with a knife and escaped. The sudden lightness makes you think you are stronger as you walk back to your small cottage through a forest that covers the world. Well, you see, in the story, the poem, the narrator is the zombie. And the person he's talking to is the human being. The fox represents disease, and the forest represents civilization as a whole. Fascinating. Back to your small cottage, demon spawn. Back to your sh hole, demon spawn. 